Growing up an earth pony in Canterlot, not fun. <laughs> Everywhere I looked, there were ponies who could do amazing things without effort. Compared to them, I felt worse than little. I felt small. One day, I tried to help a filly. Um. It didn't go well. Yet she was different from the others. In that moment, I knew who I wanted to be. A pony worthy of that kiss. I always knew she was special. Now so does every pony else. I'm happy for her. Truly. Except for that chariot. That thing just screams Celestia prank. Yet, I can't look at all of this and not feel... Well... Jealous. I don't want to feel that. She has a title, respect, admiration, flight, cloud walking, teleportation, intelligence, kindness, beauty. And me? I'm an earth pony. Flowers! Flowers to give to our new princess! Who trips over his own hooves. CRUD! be 50 bits for the flowers and 200 for the cart and now I'm broke double crud princess twilight I am top tier and I am peach dream hello we just wanted to say how much we admire you you're living every Philly's dream it must be so amazing Going from an everyday pony to being a princess. I don't know if I could handle it. Oh yes, the pressure must be terrible. All these ponies, watching everything you say and do. So many demands and responsibilities. How are you going to make the time? No time for friends. Or relaxation. Starting a whole new life. Gosh, I just couldn't cope. <sighs> I give her a month. Little thing like her, <laughs> I give her a week. This is the fifth stupidest thing I've ever done, but I can't help it. I don't want to leave feeling jealous and sad. She probably won't remember me, but I want to see her again and wish her well. That and swipe some bits from Blue Blood's allowance, for old time's sake. HALT! Crud basket! Hey, hey! You caught me. That's awesome. You're awesome. What I wouldn't give for a distraction. Twitchy Huh? Can you call me a medic? Uh, sure. Thanks. You're a pal. You want another distraction, Mr. Talking Box? <laughs> hey, why the silent treatment? Way to go, Twilight. Thank you, every pony. But I. We're so proud. You'll be a great princess. I cannot wait to show you my new royal fashion line. You'll be the envy of all Equestria. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. It's just. And we can hang out at the Wonderbolts Derby. You could score VIP seats. I suppose. I need. Don't forget the Equestria Rodeo. And the Royal Menagerie. I'm so looking forward to you attending the uh, next Crystal Fair. Two cheers for Princess Twilight. Halt! Better now. Thanks. Bye. Come back, Mr. Talkie Box! Sheesh, who was that? Probably some party crashers. Too bad not every pony can be best buds with... Twilight? Twilight? Come back so we can help you. Never! You! Halt! Stop saying that! You see this? This is me not halting. Hi. Hello. Love your music. I'm so sorry about this. No need to call more security. I'll just throw myself out. No. Our would-be princess has disappeared. I bet she's turning in her crown as we speak. You idiot! Haven't you idiots found them yet? No, Lady Peace Dream. Find him, and throw him into the deepest pit in Equestria. 
Yes, Lady Top Tire. Okay. New plan. Hide in the Labyrinth until dawn, then hoof it to the furthest reaches of Equestria. I'm thinking Dodge Junction. I just wish... <laughs> Guess I'm not the only pony having a rough day. Hey, what's wrong? Wow. Are you here to bring me back to the party? Please tell Princess Celestia that. I'll return shortly. Oh. Uh, actually, I'm kind of fleeing for my life. So if I could hide out here for a minute... Wait. Yeah. Do I know you? Spotlights. My 23rd weakness. That mark. It, it's you! The insane cult who jumped out a third story window to rescue my doll! Well, when you say it like that... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I can't believe it! You're... You're... <laughs> I never learned your name. Uh, right in the ego. My 18th weakness. I'm Clutterstep. Um, your highness. <sighs> it was nice to see you. Please don't tell any pony that I'm here. I said something wrong, didn't I? No, you didn't. Then why are you telling me to leave? I, I just like to be alone right now. Right, because something's wrong. Everything is fine! No, it isn't. Yes, it is! Horse apples. Will you please leave? As you wish, your highness. What? The crud? Huh? Our time and space after me now? It's a drost maze! Very powerful magic. You mean we're trapped? Well, yes, but... Wait. Are you admiring your own flank? No. I'm just wishing I hit the gym more often. So, we're trapped? Yes. And you can't fly or magic your way out? No, I just land back here. Well, not my worst day. But between you and me, today's been a real stinker. I'm being chased by a cyclops and a gorgon, who may or may not have a legitimate issue with me. If they catch me, they'll lock me so far away from the surface they'll have to mail me oxygen. What? No toilet? If I'm lucky, my remains will be discovered before the millennium's out. Alas, poor Clutter! I knew him, Luna! Best case scenario? I'll serve as a cautionary tale for future generations. And I just now stopped believing in karma. <laughs> I'll make you a bet. Tinbit says your day isn't as bad as my third worst. Like I said, everything's fine. After all, I'm a princess. I'm living every filly's dream. Except... Um... Can you keep a secret? <laughs> When I was a filly, all my free time was spent studying magic. And when I did start to envision the future, I thought I would become a teacher at the school for gifted unicorns. Or maybe I would become an advisor and mage in the royal court, just like Clover the Clever. I never ever dreamt that I'd become Celestia's peer. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do or what's expected of me. And all my friends and family are so excited. I don't have the heart to tell them that I'm... that I'm... I'm scared. The easy twilight. Let it out. I'm so... I'm so... Shh. You haven't done anything wrong. Bring our shirt. It's clean. Promise. Thanks, but you- I heal fast. No worries. No, oh, look at me. Princess Twilight Sparkle blubbering like a fool on her coronation day. Maybe this was all a mistake. Maybe if I ask Princess Celestia- Whoa, whoa. Now's a really bad time to make a decision like that. I'm just so confused. Twilight, I can't pretend to know what you're going through. But I can tell you a story. It's about another princess who was locked in a tower. This was about two years before you became Celestia's student. On the night of the fullest moon, all of Canterlot was abuzz because the tower of the princess was in lockdown. No guests, no messengers, no pony. Except for me. I had a special invite. Yes. 
What were you doing there? Oh, uh, you know, exploring, frolicking, especially the exploring adventurous type that I... Are you buying any of this? No. Okay. Truth is, anything that belongs to Celestia becomes a collector's item. And being Canterlot's newest runaway, I needed the bits. I figured she wouldn't miss a few trinkets. Then I hit a snag. I had never seen royalty up close before, and I couldn't resist taking a peek into the royal chambers. Curiosity, my fourth weakness. She had sealed off the entire tower just to have space to cry. I couldn't believe it. I mean, this is Princess Celestia. When I saw her, she looked totally in control. She had power and respect, and I just thought, what kind of problems could she have? I miss... I miss you! What did you do? Well, I don't have a clue on how to comfort royalty. Huh? But every crying pony needs the same thing. Thank you. Did... Did you ever see Princess Celestia cry again? No. Things got complicated after that. Plus, she and I... Mistakes were made. Look, Twilight, being a leader is hard. And the fact that you're upset shows that you're taking it seriously. Being scared doesn't make you weak. I promised myself I wouldn't worry about the future. But this is just too big for me. And if Princess Celestia struggles, what chance do I have? That's not true. If this is too big, then let's get a little distance. Hey! Why would you do that? Relax. Drost Maze, remember? Your crown's right over... There. Um... Oops. You haven't learned any banishment spells yet, have you? How could you throw away my crown? It was pretty light, so... Clutter! Well, you were about to turn it in a second ago. I was going to resign as princess, but that crown is my element of harmony. It's... It's a link to my friends. When I'm with my friends, I feel like I can face any challenge. But a princess sits on the throne alone. What if I'm not good enough? And I'm sure your friends would all be like... So sorry, Twilight. Our friendship isn't worth the postage. That's what they'd sound like. They'd never say that! Say that! Say that! Oh my gosh. They'd never let that happen. My friends have been with me from the start of my adventure. They'll be with me through this new one as well. I've been so worked up that I forgot something important. Chin up, darling. Two laps to go. My friends care about me just as much as I care about them. It's scary to think about starting a new life. Maybe away from Ponyville. But there's one thing I know for sure. The bond we share is unbreakable. They sound like great friends. <laughs> the best. Ah, crud. Now I'm even more jealous. Jealous? You want to be a pony princess? What? No. What? I... You... <laughs> hmm. It's not funny. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't tease. Darn right. Besides, I think that dress would match my eyes. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you're here, Clutter. I'm glad I got to see you again, Spark. You! Halt! Here's a paying taxes and look what I get. On that note... Run away! <gasps> He's abducting the princess! Clutter, what are you doing? Fleeing for my life. It's my personal policy. But running away is pointless! Why? Because... Drost Maze! Oh. Right. Crud. Eek. Clutter! Finally caught you, runt. Hope you enjoyed your last night above ground. Let him go. Oh, look. The little princess is trying to throw her weight around. She needs another reality check. My father is one of Celestia's chief magistrates. And my family.
apparently provides the royal airships. You are just Celestia's pet playing dress up. This runt humiliated us in front of the Canterlot nobles. He's going to be punished. If you get in our way, we'll make sure every pony knows you're a pathetic joke. You will not speak to them. No, it's all right. They've made their point. Now, I'll make mine. Huh? Ah! Your mind games don't work on me anymore. What are you doing? Stop! You may not respect me as a princess, but I'm also the element of magic. And you will respect that. How did she... Did she turn us into newts? Are we newts? Stop giving her ideas. What about the moon? Are we on the moon? Shut up! Ladies, if we're all done posturing... I don't like that you tried to undermine me on my coronation day. But you also helped me address a lingering fear. I do understand how hard it must have felt to be embarrassed in front of the Canterlot elite. Yet terrorizing other ponies isn't the answer. I'm offering you two a chance to come back to the party with me and start over. I'm not doing this because of your status. I'd like to get to know the real top tire in Peach Dream. Think it over. Thank you. I'll take it from here. Clutter, are you alright? Did they hurt you? Marry me. But what? I said they were scaring me. Smooth. Your Highness, am I to understand that we have stumbled into a drost maze? Oh, um, yes. But don't worry, I figured a way out. Wait, what? When did this happen? It started when you threw my crown away. I already said oops. And I've added data every time you interacted with the maze. As I intended. Uh-huh. What? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. My point is, draw spells are usually absolute. Only a few allow for exceptions. And since no pony here is wearing a sombrero, this must be Star Swirl's digit-dependent drost. You see, I only have one crown, and it passed through the maze unaffected. Yet we two ponies were still trapped. And now that there are nine of us? Getting out will be much more difficult, but not impossible. Peach Dream has given me an idea. What did I tell you? I don't want to be a newt. Your Highness. Whatever your plan requires, you have the Royal Guard's full support. Thank you. All of you. Brace yourselves, every pony. I know these new forms feel strange, but you'll revert back to ponies in five minutes. I need you to exit the Drost maze before then. You're each one of a kind, so the Drost won't hold you. <laughs> Are you asking if I'm coming with you? Ugh, this would be easier with Fluttershy. I can't return to the party yet. I need to retrieve my crown. And since Clutterstep lost it, he'll be... be... very upset when he reverts back. <laughs> Before you go, could I get a helping push? <laughs> Thank you! 178, 177, 176, 3, 2, 1. Never. Again. <laughs> Sorry. Well, on the plus side, we don't have to look hard for my crown. Still think you can't handle it? Well... After you saved me, won over two nags, and thought your way out of a magical trap? I'm still nervous. But it's a little easier knowing that I'll have the support of so many ponies. I'm one of them. I believe in you. What was that? I said, I believe in you, Twilight Sparkle. That makes me happy. Good. Twily! Shining armor? And just like that, I hate some pony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clutter. Hang on. What? No! Please wait. <laughs> I taste copper. Is that normal? This will only take a second. I can't believe this. Another interruption? I've had it. Whoever's butting in this time, I'm gonna- Is this guy bothering you? Get my tail kicked! <laughs> Just the opposite, BBBFF. Twily, you left the party so- Have you been crying? It's liquid pride, remember? Shining armor, this is Clutterstep. Uh, hi? Wait a minute. 
Aren't you... No. No, I'm not. I didn't say... I'm not the thing you were about to say that I don't know. So, Shining Armor, you said something about the party? Yeah. Ponies are starting to notice that you're gone. Cadence is covering for you. Of course. I'm thrilled for my sister. I'm sure she'll join us shortly. But I'm not so sure how long she can distract the noble ponies. Meanwhile, your friends are looking all over Canelot Castle for you. Twilight? Twilight? Hey, uh, have you seen a violet pony in a pink dress? You mean like Princess Twilight? Did I say violet? I meant purple. They're trying to be discreet. More than anything, they're afraid they said something to upset you. Twilight! Twilight, dearie! Twilight? Except for Pinkie Pie. Why? Did something happen to her? Well... Applejack unveiled your coronation cake before they left. Save me, talking box! And we had to hold an intervention. Captain Armor? Nightwatch? I apologize for my outburst. Please forgive me, your highness. No, that's... it's fine. What are you doing here? We were pursuing a trespasser through the labyrinth when we saw what looked like to be a signal flare. Upon locating its origins, we found the intruder alongside. And, um, he was with Princess Twilight. Forgive me, your highness. Doing what? On the plus side, I no longer fear death. Yes, what were you two doing? Didn't we agree to support her? Quiet! This is juicy. Well, I was... She was teaching me a lesson. Her Highness caught up with me after I crashed the party. And she showed me how giving in to worry and doubt isn't the way to go. As long as you have the right friends cheering for you. You can face any challenge. So, you admit to invading Her Highness's celebration? What part of free buffet do you not get? You're under arrest for trespassing! Oh, right. <laughs> That's a thing. No! Whatever mistakes Clutterstep made tonight, he's been through enough. As princess, I hereby pardon him. She's so... Wow. Provided that he leaves the castle grounds immediately. She must be adopted. I'm sorry, Clutter. I wanted you to come meet my friends. Me too. But I think I've pushed my luck as far as it'll go. It was a joy to see you, Your Highness. Thank you for everything, Clutterstep. I hope we'll meet again. In the meantime, for good luck. Mwah. Chicken and... Yep. Best moment of my life. And this is the second most terrifying moment. Yes, well... Good night, all. Have a wonderful party. Don't make eye contact. Sister complexes can sense fear. <laughs> wow. 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 You been there. Long enough. So, uh, I was just leaving. I know. I wanted to see you again. You haven't thrown up another Jarl's Maze, have you? No, you're under no constraints. Suddenly the whole evening makes sense. Of course I didn't find Twilight by chance. I'm not a Candlelot for a day, and already I'm running the maze she set up. You... you look well. Yep. Fit as can be. We're ignoring that. We are not. Hey, let go! Hold still! I wish you wouldn't do that. You would rather bleed from your skull? No, but I... We made a deal. I'm supposed to be responsible for my own life, bumps and all. Clutter, we haven't met in years. Must we fight right away? Well, it's been a rough night. Things were looking up. But then I find out, I was just a counselor you sent in to comfort your number one student. You give me far too much credit. I arranged the situation, yes, but the comfort Twilight received was your own. I believed you could help her, just as you helped me on that night so long ago. 
Twilight can return to her new role, renewed by her hopes. That hope will grow into confidence and enable her to become a great leader. The gift you gave her tonight will touch every life in Equestria. That was your own doing, not mine. I... I didn't do it for that reason. That doesn't make it any less special. I must return to the party as well. Princess Twilight's coronation should not be remembered for missing nobility. Farewell, Clutterstep. Be safe. I'm glad that Luna is back. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you. For the first time in a while, I feel like I've done good. Nighty night, nighty. <laughs> Even though my situation is still messed up, I'm broke. I'll have to lay low just in case those two nags still hold a grudge. I think his name was Bumblestep? Cuddle Trip? No pony importance, I'm sure. And I've got the Prince of an Empire ticked off, but Twilight gave me a gift tonight. For the second time in my life, she gave me hope. Maybe I can make some friends as good as hers. Maybe when I get to Josh- Hey! What? Uh, what? I- What? Just... Happened? Doggy Box! I missed you! How are you doing this? Let go! I love you, Doggy Box! Worst shipping ever. Twilight, we goofed up. We were all excited about you being a princess and all. We forgot that big changes can be scary. We're so sorry. And we want you to know that no matter what happens, you'll always have our love and support. I know, girls. And it means the world. Um, Cadence? A boy? What? You met a boy. Really? What's this fella like? Is he cool? Is he nice? Did he try anything? Every pony, please. He's. Uh, well. I can't really describe him. And I can't say he's my special sun pony. Not yet. But he is kind and funny and charming in his own way. He's. He's. He is some pony special. I know that you're hiding things Using gentle words to shelter me Your words were like a dream But dreams could never fool me Not that easily I acted so distant then Didn't say goodbye before you left But I was listening You'll fight your battles far from me Far too easily Save your tears cause I'll come back I could hear that you whispered as you walked through that door But still I swore the pain when I turn back the pages Shouting might have been the answer What if I cried my eyes out and begged you not to depart But now I know that I am not afraid To say what's in my heart Though a thousand words Never been spoken They'll fly to you Crossing over the time And distance holding you Suspended on silver wings And a thousand words One thousand confessions Will cradle you 
making all of the pain you feel seem far away. They'll hold.